So question six then from this new hire, the specimen paper, paper two. Here it gives you four points. You've got their three dimensional coordinates apart from one of them. And you have to find this value such as the line segment AB is perpendicular to the line segment CD. Well, as soon as you hear that perpendicular, you think scalar product, so I want the vectors. So I'll get the vector AB. I could just do it by inspection, but I think I'll set it out. So that will be B minus A, the position vector of B minus the position vector of A. Well, the position vector are just the coordinates written in a column. Position vector of A, 0, 9, 7. So that when you subtract them, you'll have 5, take away nothing is 5. Negative 1, take away 9 is negative 10. And 2, take away 7 is negative 5. Same for CD. That'll be position vector D minus the position vector of C. So you just put down this routine again. This looks like a wee face shape. What have we got? X negative 2, 2, 4, 1, 3. X take away 4. Oh, I should have left myself more room there. Negative 2 take away 1 is negative 3. 2 take away 3 is negative 1. Well, that's a mark each. Now, but I'll need to have a statement about why I'm doing this. Now I can say this. If AB is perpendicular to CD, that means that AB dot CD, in other words, the scalar product, should come to zero. So that's the mark. Now, what is the scalar product? Multiply the corresponding components. So 5 times x minus 4 plus negative 10 times negative 3 plus the z's now, negative 5 times negative 1, x times the x plus the y times the y plus the z times the z. If they're perpendicular, that should come to zero. So what does this lot say then? That says that 5x minus 20 plus 30 plus 5 should come to zero. So 5x should equal, there we've got 15, take it across, that's negative 15. So finally, x equals divide by 5, negative 3. That would be a very simple 5 marks to get in your exam.